Okay, now for starters, if you bought a tonal, you probably bought the bundle package that they have, the accessories that come with it. But let's be real, you're not gonna buy a tonal and not use their smart handles, right? With a little button that turns the weight on and off. And you're not gonna buy a tonal and not use their smart bar, right? But do you really need their little tricep rope? No. Do you really need the mat that comes with it? Do you really need this thing that comes with it, the little roller. Not really. So those, those are not super useful accessories, but it comes with it. I mean, you kind of need it for the workouts, but what are five other accessories that you might want to be buying that actually might be useful that aren't just like the smart technology stuff, but things that are kind of making your life easier and other things are just kind of like more economical options or different options besides what they have on their website. But uh, let's talk about some other options for those of you who are kind of waiting for your tonal to arrive after you just bought it and you're like, hmm, what's, uh, what else can I buy for this thing? Well, let's talk about that coming right up. So let's be real, if you're buying a tonal, you're not gonna get it without the smart handles. Or maybe you did, maybe you have your own little handles that you like to use that are like this, but without the button, and you wanna be stubborn and not buy the little $500 package that comes with it, or whatever the price is for it right now. But um, if that's the case, you wanna use your own attachments, the first thing you're gonna wanna look at is actually something that is on their website, and that's these little T-bar attachments. So all the tonal equipment has their proprietary little hooks on here, that you kinda just plug it in and whoosh, turn it and that's basically how all their attachments work. And if you buy the T-Locks, then you can actually use anything that you want that has a carabiner attached to it. So if you already have some things that you like using based off of your own equipment, um, you can just attach it onto those T-Locks using a little carabiner. So like what I have right here is my own little tricep rope that I like to use. So here's Tonal's tricep rope. Pretty nice, but you know, it's kind of standard. It's not bad. It's not, it's not amazing either. I mean, it's just kind of what you'd find at most gyms. But some gyms have like a soft rope, which I really like. Um, I recommend those. And then if you're willing to pay a little bit more, if you want to get something nice, this is the Dynepic Spiral Strength one. So it's a tricep rope attachment. So you hold onto the cones. And if your hand's a little bit smaller, you grab onto the top. If your hand's a little bit bigger, you grab around the thicker part. And then it's also just got like a nice braided rope pattern on it. So that's the first thing. If you guys want to buy that, um, I'll have a link in the description for the spiral strength tricep rope attachment, and I'll also have a link for the link to the website, Tonal's website, so you can buy these little T-locks. Now let's say that you're really into doing like ankle exercises and that you want to do things with like an ankle strap. Well, Tonal doesn't actually have any exercises like doing hip extensions and you know hip abduction and basically straight leg hip exercises, you know, things that people usually do to build booty. But you know, you can get attachments for like a, like a little ankle strap, right? So you can buy your own ankle strap and then you can use these little T-locks to do those exercises or you can actually buy something that just comes with it. And I know I have a link to an Amazon product that I found that's uh, it's ankle straps, but it has the little T-hooks built into it. But yeah, if you really like doing those uh, booty builder exercises like the, the gluteus maximus and the gluteus medius and those muscles on the, you know, the back and the front of the booty to give you that nice bubble butt, then you know try, try using those ankle strap exercises. So anyways, now you're buying all these accessories and you're like, man, I'm, I'm really running out of space here. I need some kind of shelf. So you go onto Tonal's website and you say, hey, that's a nice looking shelf. And you go, whoa, is that seriously how much they're asking for this Tonal? Uh, this little Tonal shelf? I, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know about you, but uh, I'm not willing to pay that much for just a little piece of wood on the wall. I'd rather get something that's like long-term good for just my gym. So I'll show you guys some footage here, but I'm, behind me, I have a wall control pegboard. And it's just like what you'd find in most garage gyms. It's great for all the attachments that you get on your Tonal. You can just plug it right in. I found that the T-locks that they have on here actually kind of slot in there real nice. Like they just barely fit into the holes on my wall control brand pegboard that I bought. So if you guys are interested in wall control, I'll leave a link to that down below in the description and you guys can check out wall control if you want. I like wall control because it has a lot of different attachments that you can use for it that I've used for all my other equipment to hang on the wall. But also I like the black and blue, you know, cause in case you haven't noticed, those are kind of my colors. So 
I'd recommend wall control. Check it out down in the description or just build yourself your own shelf. It's just a piece of wood and you gotta find another little hole that you're drilling it. That'll probably fit a T peg. What are these things called? T lock, T lock. Now, so far, all we've talked about are things that you can stick on your wall and things that are kind of customizable, but something that's very customized that is actually 3D printed and I found on Etsy was this guy right here. So this guy is actually a 3D printed pedal that you can step on. And the cool part about this is that if you're doing the goblet squat and you're struggling and you're trying to hit it with your chin and it's not working, uh, all you gotta do is before the exercise starts, you take this, which is the little button that goes uh, from the bar that you take off of the bar. So you take this button and then you stick it right on this little 3D printed pedal. And then when you're ready, you just press on the pedal and it'll actually engage the weight and then you step on the pedal again and it'll take the weight off. And that way you're not messing around with uh, safety issues because you don't want to be doing an exercise and then be struggling and trying to hit your button and fumbling with it. That's where this little pedal comes in. So if you guys are interested, I'll link down to Etsy. I don't get any kind of affiliate for using Etsy, but you know, I just think it's something cool. So uh, you guys can definitely check that out. And also, I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but if you buy any of my products, like use my links down there because I'll get like a very small percentage of the sale. And uh, that's how YouTubers make money. So help me support my channel by buying something that's kind of cool, something that you can show off to your friends, something that makes you feel like you're part of the elite club, the tonal community. Yeah, do it. Be part of the community. Buy stuff using my affiliate links. It'll make me happy. I mean, make you happy. It'll make us happy. Okay, so far we've talked about safety. We've talked about uh, storage with the wall control stuff. We've talked about customization and using special attachments. But you know, one thing that's maybe not as sexy as the rest is just buying yourself a screen cleaner. So uh, I'll give you guys a link down to this below. This is just a screen cleaner for like TVs and stuff. And uh, there's a little microfiber cloth. But yeah, after each workout, I don't know if you guys know this, but you'll get a ton of fingerprints on your tonal. And then you'll have somebody come over and you'll be like, hey, check out my tonal, isn't it cool? And they'll go, what are all those fingerprints? And you'll be like, forget the fingerprints, man. Look at the tonal. And they're like, I can't look at the tonal. It's too many fingerprints. So, you know, what are you gonna do? You're gonna buy a screen cleaner, okay? And then you use the screen cleaning mode, so when you use screen cleaning mode, it makes it so that like, if you're pressing stuff, it doesn't register your finger on the screen, like a touchpad kind of thing. And you wipe it down and you don't even really need the spray, but I would definitely recommend that you get a microfiber cloth just to wipe it down after every use. And if you do that, um, you'll be able to see your reflection so much better. And if you can see a reflection, well, I mean, that's kind of self-explanatory. You know, you can check yourself out. That's what I'm saying. All right, so the last tip, um, I don't know if this is like a bonus tip, this is tip number six or something like that, but uh, it comes with a bench and the bench is pretty cool. You know, it's like a flat bench. It's kind of over there somewhere. You guys can't really see it. But I also have an incline bench. And so if you want to use things like incline bench press and stuff like that, which is kind of like a niche exercise, uh, you can do that, but you're gonna need yourself a utility bench that actually goes from horizontal to 45 degrees maybe even to 90, or like maybe you wanna do like, uh, like an incline reverse fly or something like that. I'm gonna include a link in the description to what I use, but you don't have to use what I use. Um, but just note that a lot of incline benches are higher up. So like if you try like a, the, the regular bench that the total comes with, it's great because it's lightweight and it, uh, you know, it doesn't move, but it's also down low. So if you're trying to do step ups, it's not that high of a step. And also you don't run into issues with doing bench press because I don't know if you guys know this or not, but when you do a bench press, you want it to be a low bench. An incline bench usually is up higher because it has to be able to adjust and like those little adjustments underneath the bench take up space. So you need it to be up higher. But most of the time I want my bench to be lower because I'm doing bench press. Anyways, so I'll include a, a link or two to a couple different benches you can find down below. So I think that just about wraps things up. I don't think I really missed much else that goes along with like things that you'd actually use on your tonal. But if you're interested, I mean, you could always get some cool lighting, you know, LED lights like what I got, you know, that's that, that makes it a little sexier. And I think that just about wraps up my recommendations for 2022 for the top five accessories that you can buy with your tonal. 
I hope this has been informative for you guys. I hope it's given you some ideas. If there's anything that I missed, make sure that you comment down below. Let me know. Give me some, some suggestions. Uh, if you have any questions or feedback on the video, let me know. I'll probably make some more of these tonal tips videos, so stay tuned. You can probably check here if you want to check out my tonal top 10 features that I like about it. Um, if you want to check out that video. I don't really know why you'd check out this video if you didn't already uh, watch that video. Like, if you haven't watched it, go ahead. And remember, you only have one life to lift. Catch you in the next video.